Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Coram with Colorado Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're standing in front of 4658 Cassidy Street, but before we go inside and take a look, I just want to reiterate, we have a date for the foreclosure tour, our first time home buyers foreclosure tour, which is going to be held on February 6th which is just a couple weeks away. So we had a pretty good response. We're gonna need a couple more people to justify the cost. So please call me up and let me know you're interested in attending. I think we're gonna have a great turnout. We're gonna see a lot of property that day. Should be very exciting. With that, we're standing in front of 4658 Cassidy Street in Colorado Springs, Colorado, zip code 80911. This home was built in 1993 and has almost 2,000 square foot of living space, including three bedrooms, one and a half baths, and a two car garage. This house is in pretty decent shape beyond the basic cosmetics and at only 155, I think this is a great deal. Come on in, let's go take a look. So we're inside 4658 Cassidy Street. One of the things I like about newer architecture like this are the open vaulted ceilings. As you can see, this is a two-story ceiling we have here in the living room. This is going to be nice because when you get all your living room furniture in here, you still have that very open, airy feel. It makes the room feel a lot bigger than it is. If we look this direction, you're going to see the kitchen. Now, one of the neat features about this property is they did a tile floor over the kitchen. They did miss one section of the kitchen over to that direction. So we might add carpeting to that to match that up. Uh, we might see if we can match up this tile and finish that off. But back in this direction, being built in 93, there's not a lot of stuff we're going to need beyond the cosmetics is my prediction. We've got cabinets that are just kind of dirty. You know, I think if we go ahead and just clean these up pretty good, maybe add some stainless steel hardware on there that will really update that. The appliances look to be functional, but perhaps a little dated, so something we'll consider. And then back here, leading out of the kitchen, you'll find the garage, which is a pretty good size. It's dark out there, so we won't bother putting camera on that, but just so you know where that's located. So pretty good size two-car garage, plenty of room for both of your cars and all the storage that you would need. With that, let's head upstairs and check out the bedrooms. So we're heading upstairs at 4658 Cassidy Street. Right now we're standing on a landing area, which is kind of interesting. When these were models, they used to stage this up with a desk and just kind of have this overlook of the area, just like a sitting nook area. So that, that's one possibility for the use of the space. The secondary bedrooms are behind me, so we're going to head this direction. And in the rooms, in general, these don't need a whole lot of work. Now again, this is almost 2,000 square feet of living space. It's in pretty good shape. They added some paint borders in these rooms, just some things that you'd want to maybe paint over to undress what they've done here and give it a nice neutral tone. But other than that, and maybe adding some closet doors to the closet which have been removed here, this room is pretty much ready to go. Heading this direction, we find the other secondary room. And as before, nothing to it. This one already does have the closet doors, so we'll need to add those. Uh, but beyond that, you're adding a two-tone paint job. You're probably keeping the vinyl windows because these are going to be young enough that they shouldn't need to be replaced. So huge cost savings. That's what makes this home such a great value. Continuing this direction, we find the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom joins with the uh, bathroom in the hallway as well. So you do kind of have a master bath, but it is shared on this floor. Um, master is a pretty good size. It's got two closets. So you got your his and hers closet set up, and uh, there's only a half bath on the main level. This is the only full bath in the house. It is upstairs where all the bedrooms are, which is a logical place to put it. And as we follow back here into the master bath, nice features that you, know, you don't expect to find at entry level price ranges, but we got stuff like a nice four inch tile surround, which is in pretty good shape. Uh, you got your toilet back there. And then a uh, nice feature here is you got the dual vanity sinks here. So both of you guys can get ready in the morning without having to walk over each other or wait for the sink. So that is a nice feature. With that, I want to check out the basement. Let's head on down. Before we head on downstairs, I just want to show you, you've got a half bath in the main level here. They continue the tile pattern from the kitchen into here, so it's a nice quality tile. And everything looks to be in pretty good shape in the half bathroom. So again, you've got a full bath upstairs, you've got a half bath on the main level, and the basement is plumbed in for another bathroom if you decide to completely finish out the basement, although part of it is already finished. Let's go check that out. Now, officially speaking, this house is a three bedroom, one and a half bath with a two car. However, they did finish this lower level basement. They just failed to pull permits on it. So you would need to go ahead and get county out here 
unofficially that makes this a four bedroom, one and a half baths with a two car. Okay, so you do have some finished space in the basement. This looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, it's got the necessary ducting work that you're going to need to be legal for code. Um, and it's a pretty good sized bedroom that's perfectly functional while you're working on getting the permits done. Um, and etc. So just keep in mind from an appraisal standpoint, we call this a three bedroom. From a usability standpoint, you've got four bedrooms you've got access to. We head back this direction and we're going to find the laundry facility, which is directly back here. Uh, this is where your washer and dryer are going to be positioned. As you can see, we've already got one of them sitting here and the other one sitting over here. We don't know the functionality of those, but it is nice to have them there if you don't have them and that's uh, something you can utilize if they are in functional condition. They are included with the house. The rest of the basement uh, over here has been plumbed in to put the rest of the bathroom into it. So as you pull permits and get this all legal, you'll be able to do that. And then HUD didn't find any issues with either the, the furnace or the water heater. So they're both located back here and they tend to be fully functional. One thing I like to point out guys, whether HUD thinks they're functional or not, I like to have you guys buy a home warranty on any HUD property that we purchase because we just don't know the full history. We get our warranties over at Blue Ribbon Home Warranty. It runs roughly $300, $295 give or take. And a lot of times I can get HUD to pay that as part of the closing cost. So it's not necessarily a cost you have to incur. But if we can't get them to include that, it's something I absolutely insist on because we just need to have that peace of mind when you're buying a used home like this. Let's check out the backyard and the deck. It's absolutely going to blow you away. Let's go see it. So you've seen the inside of 4658 Cassidy Street and it's in pretty good shape but what really excites me about this property is this backyard. I just want you to look this direction. As you can see we start with a very large decking system that goes all the way out and has some nice stairs and etc. And there's a landing up top there where you're going to have your basic grass section. Okay. Now that's where most houses would have stopped but this one did not. Right behind me they put in a heck of a swing set here. The kids are absolutely going to adore this. This is good to go. Uh, you got the two swings and everything set up. And again, everything's included with the house. But this is something you have to spend pretty good money on to get that on your own. This yard is terraced in three different sections. So you got your upper level there with the grass. You got this section here for the kids. And there's actually one more level that I want you to take a look at. It's right down here, and you're going to like what you see down there as well. Now, this is something we're not expecting to find. Um, so this is an interesting find and something that, you know, I don't know if you can put a value on it, but if you have animals or if you're an animal lover, you'll definitely want to use this. You have an enclosed animal enclosure. It starts over here with a fencing system. It works its way down here, so they've got an area to get into their own little storage shelter. So if you've got a, actually a pretty decent sized dog, he won't have to spend the day outside very much. Or if you have any other types of animals, rabbits or things of that nature, you can put them here, kind of out of sight, out of mind, but still give them a nice place to play. Let's go ahead and recap Cassidy Street and get you out of here. Again, we're at 4658 Cassidy Street in Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80911. Cross streets are basically Bradley and Academy areas, so South Academy, real good proximity to Fort Carson, easy access to I-25, and simple location to get to Powers and things of that nature. This home is a three-bedroom officially, but has a fourth bedroom in the basement, one and a half baths with an attached two-car garage. The backyard is absolutely amazing, and this property is offered at $155,000 today. Comps in the neighborhood put this at roughly $175,000 to $180,000. So with some very, very minor rehab work on this property, you're picking up a ton of equity on a very livable house. That'll be a lot of fun for any family or starting family or things of that nature. Guys, as always, give me a call as soon as possible. Numbers at the bottom of the screen. Hit the website, ColoradoSpringsForeclosureDeals.com. Check us out on Facebook, Colorado Springs Foreclosures. But however you get in touch with us, please get in touch with us because these good deals do not last long. When you find a house that's in tip-top shape for 155 grand, has a value of 175 to 180, you got to jump on it. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you guys in the next one.